Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today's daily vlog fit is my Muses t-shirt, concert t-shirt that I had got from Disney World last summer. Um, I get more compliments on this shirt than any pride piece of clothing that I own. <laughs> Every time I wear it and I go out, people are like, oh my gosh, I love, I love Hercules or I love the Muses. Like one girl today was like, oh my gosh, if they um, actually did like a concert, um, she's like, I would pay for that. Why is Disney missing out? And I was like, oh yeah. And I thought, you know, they have that new, it's in Epcot, it's the new like center, Communicore I think is what it's called. They're opening that up in June, like the middle of June. And they're gonna have an Encanto, like, I think it's like a sing-along or show or something like that. And like, I know they had mentioned that they might be rotating. And I was like, oh my gosh, if they did a Hercules one, like, People would go crazy, but you would definitely have to like hire, I mean the muses are like, their voices are iconic and just awesome. So you'd have to have the right hire, but we have like Voices of Liberty, so I'm sure there's lots of people that could probably sing, um, you know, match that like vocally, but yeah. I don't, anyways, off on tangent, but yes, my favorite, love it. And it's a great color. And I got my hair done this morning, so I figured <laughs> why not vlog? Before I jump into the meat and potatoes of this vlog, I did wanna show you a new product that I have been using for Winnie, for all her dog hair and stuff. I got a new gimbal to try out to like um, record on my phone. Right now I'm recording on my camera. And I just love the way, I love editing on my camera, on my software. It's just great, but it, I wanted to have something that um, would kind of like track. Um, this one has like an AI tracking, so if I were gonna post it on like a tripod and be able to walk around, it would follow me around a little bit. So I did find one um, at a really good price. So um, I'm going to show you the new product that I got for Winnie using that gimbal. Testing. Mike had looked online and found a dog groomer kind of kit. Here, let's see if this is gonna follow me. Now follow me? Yeah. And it looks like a little like shop back, but it actually is a groomer. Now it does have a bunch of different attachments like to actually trim her and everything. I haven't used that yet. I just have used, oops, this um, like brush and it works amazing. So I'm just gonna show you. So, plug it in. Kind of collects all the hair in this little canister. So at the end of me brushing her, I'll show you what I get out. It has a couple different modes as far as how high you want to suck. It says you can start in the first one. Just until they're used to it. Come here, love. Come here, Zuki. <laughs> It'll lay down Yeah, I think it does. See, it just comes up and then you push this and it sucks it right in. See? See? Yeah! You're doing awesome! It's like her undercoat, I think, is usually what the majority of it is. Cause it's very blonde. But Mike and I were brushing her or it would require a two person job because you would brush and then have to put the bag like in a, or put the hair in a bag. Because she's gross and she tries to eat her own hair. <laughs> I'm not sure if all dogs do that or if mine's just some kind of special. Yes, good girl. You come this way. So you can see it's got like an on button, minimum, maximum. I think you can hit it like there's three different modes to it. They say start off on the first one just in case if your dog is like sensitive to sounds or get nervous, which she was, but now shortly after I got on the, the second one. So you just take this off. This canister pops out. 
open it up. I mean, just that little bit, that's all the dog hair that was in there. Just brushing her for, I'm not even sure if it was five minutes, but it's pretty amazing. And this just pops back on and then you're ready to go for the next time. So it has um, a decent length in cord too, and then even in tubing. So it's nice because like if your dog is a little bit like moving like how she does, it's really easy to, um, you know, work around her. It's not like you're stuck with this little cord in this little tube, so you're kind of in this one section. And the first time I did it, I did it outside because I wasn't sure how much hair was just gonna kind of come off, but it all pretty much suctions into this. And like I said, there are grooming attachments too where I could actually trim her. There's another one that's like a soft brush at suck up. Um, so there's a couple different ones, but this is my favorite. I've, I've, I've used this one 100% of the time and I honestly haven't even used the other ones yet because she does get groomed. Um, but if I could learn how to do it, maybe I could groom her in between and go longer between groomings, but she gets her nails cut and her teeth clean and stuff too, so it's kind of well worth it for me. But um, yeah, handy dandy. If you have a dog that sheds a lot, this one's perfect. I'm pretty sure we got off to Amazon, so I can link it below. And I want you guys to know when I show you products, it's not like a paid sponsorship or anything like that. I do have an Amazon Associates um, account, so, it doesn't change the price that you pay, but if you do click on my links and then um, purchase anything, I do get a small commission, um, but it's like pennies on a dollar. It's nothing that I'm paying my mortgage with or anything like that. But I do appreciate it because it definitely, it, everything helps the channel, so I appreciate it. Um, but it's never because this is like, was gifted to me or you know I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. It's just a product that we had researched and bought and is very helpful in our life. So hopefully you know that everything that I talk to you about is something, you know, comes from authenticity and is a genuine product that we appreciate and love. Okay, so now that that's over, the meat and potatoes of this vlog is going to be the Disney memorabilia that I have in my office. I know I teased a few vlogs ago about my office and kind of everything that I have in my shelves. And I know some of you have commented wanting to see it. So I'm not really sure the best way to do this. I think I'm just going to walk you through everything and kind of talk about everything and anything. So let's go into the office. I do share an office with Mike and our Peloton <laughs> bike. Um, but yeah, this is it. I brought in a step stool so I can show you some things on top because I am a shorty. 5'2", baby. Start off just with some of the artwork. I got these posters when um, Epcot did all their um, posters that they had in, I think they called the Odyssey, and when they were like when they were showing kind of all the um, mapping of what new Epcot was going to look like. They had all these posters on the walls, and then which in, within each festival they were selling some. So these are only like one of 300, so they're very special to me, but I absolutely love them. Because when first time I went to Epcot, it looked like this. It was in 2006, but it still had the 2000 um, marker on it on Spaceship Earth, and it was just so iconic. And then obviously Mike is obsessed with illuminations. Big Thunder's my favorite. And this is a bunch of different like tiki mugs, tiki drinks from Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. And then the kids silhouettes we actually got done at Christmas time. So comment below if you guys wanna know how I did it. Um, and they can do it from photos. They don't necessarily have to be there. So obviously that's how I got the doggies. Some other Disney stuff I have in here. This is actually, hey, let me shut this blind so the sun doesn't come in. This is something our good friends Corey and Caitlin got us. It's a print of the Polynesian. And then I got this made a couple Christmases ago for Mike um, from a really cool company. And I'll have to find the company and I can link that down below. But they do a ton of stuff. They do a ton of like really cool Star Wars things also. Okay, and this is <laughs> my desk, which really looks like Disney has thrown up. What are you crying for, miss? She likes to sit in this chair, so hold on. Let me get her situated and then I'll show you. Okay, she is now in her little floof. 
on the chair. So let's see how long she lasts. Yes, you're the easy girl. So let's start. So let me just kind of do an overview. Obviously, I love collecting things. And we've been going to Disney since 2006. Though I would say a lot of this stuff is probably from like 2000. 10 or 15 on um, like this we actually when we took our very first cruise with Disney on the Disney dream they have a photographer there that you can set up like a private photography session and he did all these photos and then I got this cool frame which I thought was just perfect to kind of commemorate that cruise and the boys were so little even Luke I think he was like 17 and then my Remy Ratatouille, who actually does speak French. And then in English. Allez, oh, it's all French, maybe. I thought one of this was English. Okay. I keep pressing it thinking it's going to be English, but maybe not. Is there one in the Oh! <laughs> this hand is English. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> French English. Did not know that. Okay. Or didn't remember it anyways. This is an old phone case that Mike had got me, which if you know, you know, the signs aren't going to be looking like that anymore. And then anytime we do any kinds of, you know, specialty um, drinks or places I do like to collect the cups so that was that beaches and cream the kids got me a best mother statue the 50th coke these are kind of blast from the past pictures oops I don't know if you can see because the glare let's move Remy let's see if I can see it from here when we used to get the frames and that was uh, Talking Mickey, which I actually have a short of if you guys watch the YouTube shorts. I don't know if comment below if you guys have got a chance to meet him when he was there. He actually talked to you, which was kind of interesting. And we must have had dinner at Ohana, I'm guessing, before. And then 2011, so this is before Aaron was born. I think this was, well, this definitely was Noah's birthday trip. And then all of our little cups pass holder ones, the Ireland one. This is the one of them we got from the Star Wars bar at On the Wish. This is my Festival of the Arts one that Mike accidentally put into the dishwasher and it melted, but it does kind of look like a piece of art, so I thought that was kind of fun to keep. This is a couple oldies but goodies. Let's see if you can see this. Look at the castle in <laughs> silver and blue. But this was when Mike and I got engaged on our trip, or got married on our trip. I actually convinced him to wear a just married button. Can you believe that? Here, let's see if I can put it out. And uh, there we go. Yeah, he's actually wearing the just married button. <laughs> Couldn't convince him to buy the top hat to match my bridal ears, but that's okay. And then little Luke, but... Yep, 2009, baby. And then, here's from our very first trip. Splash Mountain, RIP, now Tiana's Bayou Adventure. But this was when you used to walk through the gift shop and you had to buy the picture there um, after you got off the ride. And this was us in 2006. And it's so funny, I'm glad I had them put all that stuff on here because, well, I guess I could probably tell because how little Luke is. But yeah, so Mike, myself, and, you know, fun fact, if you rode that ride back then, that ride used to not have a lap bar. So you would just get in and that was it. And it's the exact same ride. So think about that now, like riding with your kids. I, I think it still had a height requirement, obviously, but yeah, you used to not have a lap bar. And hi to any of these people that are in my picture <laughs> that I don't know. All right, let's explore the top shelf. So this is from the Disney Wish too. when you have dinner with uh, the Marvel characters like Ant-Man and stuff. 
you have one of these, I think Quantum Core or something that's on your table and you can buy it to sipper. So obviously we bought one. This is our little souvenir from Drawn to Life when we went. That Cirque du Soleil show at Disney Springs, just amazing. For Mickey's birthday, our little Porg. Couple other blasts from the past photos. Gosh, I used to buy the picture frames at each trip, but this is an old Tower of Terror one that looks like Mickey's ear is missing. I think I fixed Goofy's head too. I think it's come off at one time, it's glued on, but yeah, so Mike's in the red shirt with his button on. It must have been the same day as this one actually did because we're wearing the same clothes. Look at us park hopping in 2009. And then Luke must have gotten his Pirates Academy thing done because he's got all the fake stubble beard and the black eye and stuff on it. But, yeah, love Tower Terror. I love this, too, because it just so happened. I don't know if they even do this anymore, but at random times, cast members would ride with you and then do, like, Sinister or, like, these, like, deadpan looks that are just so iconic, so great. And then this one is from 2000 and I think 2009 maybe? Yes, 2009 I believe. So again, we used to have to buy it at the end of the ride, Dinosaur. Luke loved, here let's put it down so you can, you don't see glare. That's a little better, but Luke, Luke used to love to get his face painted all the time so we would do that, me and then Mike. Look how young and like full of life we were. Man, to go back in time. But yeah, we love Dinosaur. That's when the, all the animatronics actually worked and would like run after you or come after you on that one scene. And yeah, super cool. That was our first trip in December. So this had to been 2008 because we're wearing sweaters <laughs> and long sleeve. That's how I know. And the top shelf, Luke had got me these Disney Mickey Mouse's collection. I don't even know, remember what Christmas that was. It's many years ago, but I kept it in the box because I wanted to keep it kind of as a collectible with all of them in there. It's like all their designs from the artists. Obviously my figment popcorn bucket on top of my lunch pail which I bought and then when I joined D23, they gave me another one. So I think I have one more in here. Yep, <laughs> it's right there. And then the monorail, this actually goes to the monorail that goes around on the track, but I just keep one of them up here. La Cava, one of the zombie heads, one of my favorite popcorn buckets because I love like purple and pinks and stuff. So that one's so beautiful. That was the first time I think that they did the mobile order to pick it up and it worked beautifully. Some more Trader Sam's mugs. The good old Nautilus back there. All right, some more cruise photos. So this was from Disney Dream in 20, I believe it was 17, with the little boys. Luke must have been off at the, the edge or the vibe, one of the teen clubs. And then, what's that? Oh, let's see if it'll focus. Flower and Garden, Pass Holder 2021. We love Orange Bird, so one, two. We've got the Orange Bird Munchling, Emile Fromage Montage. This is when I actually did, whoops, print out some pictures. I'm curious to see what year this was because I haven't printed out pictures in forever. But this is kind of a nice book. Oh, this is all from our cruise. Okay. Oh my gosh, how funny. Oh my gosh. Our door, me and Luke. Oh man, Castaway Key, the boys. Wow, is this all from the cruise? Oh yeah, because we went to Disney World right after. 
Look at Luke, Luke looking so handsome. And the little boy's in a stroller. How funny. Tower of Terror. It must have been Aaron's first time on Tower of Terror. <laughs> oh yeah, here's my famous uh, dinosaur pictures I take every trip, which don't know what they're going to do now since they're going to be changing that all up. Test track, which is under going to be under refurbishment and changed also. Oh my gosh, rock and roller coaster. How funny. <laughs> oh, the kitchen sink. And of course, oh, lots of uh, things that don't exist anymore. The dreaded... Uh, Magical, we call it depress when it was time to go home, <laughs> said Magical Express. Wow, that's funny. I guess we didn't even rent a car for that. It's so weird to like look back at things like that and realize like, like maybe how differently we vacationed or traveled or did the trips and kind of like what we learned or what was available or what Disney offered that they don't anymore now they make you pay for it or whatever it might be. So. Yeah, I live, and Mike does too, for nostalgia. We love anything nostalgia. All right, this looks to be mainly a Mr. Toad's shelf. It's one of Mike's favorites, so I think that's why he bought a lot of these. I think the kids got him that for Christmas or Father's Day one year. I got him this popcorn bucket and this little, I think this might be like a Funko Pop type thing. Uh... Maybe, I'm not sure. And then when Noah turned seven, he went on Space Mountain. And so I remember when they got off of that, I was with Aaron because he was too little to go on it. When they got off, that's when, again, you they would print pictures right there. And I think the cast members um, see the photos, like obviously as you're coming up. And so they had put that up and they actually um, we're looking for Noah when he came out and they're like, oh my gosh, look, your picture is so cool. And he was like, oh yeah, it's my birthday, it's turned seven. And they pixie dusted him that picture, um, to kind of commemorate because they all put up, you know, like seven fingers or whatever. So I thought that was so cute. Oh my gosh, seven and now he's 13. <sighs> yeah. I'm, oh gosh, so crazy. And then Corey and Caitlin got us this too, which I always think is wonderful. Just, they've been awesome friends to us. So we love it. More cups. I think you get a hurricane in this by the pool, the Port Orleans Resort. It's when they did the pickle shake last year and then a book of all of our pressed pennies. And then down here looks to be mainly all Lonnie things. So, the pineapple from Alani. I know they're coffee mugs, but I keep them out here. I'm obsessed with Olu and Duffy and Friends, so obviously that. Looks like I have a little partner statue here. Kids got one of the Lego sets from the Dole Plantation. This was our picture at the Luau. All of our <laughs> flower and garden drinks from last year. This is that Disney Rubik's Cube, which we've never been able to figure out how to <laughs> get it. So if you are good at Rubik's Cube, let me know. Maybe I'll send it to you. <laughs> Maybe you can use it. Um, I've got some chopsticks from Alani back here that have, I don't know if you can see it, they have a little Mickey Mouse on it. I think this is the scroll. Yes, so this is the scroll from the menu at Citricos for Luke's graduation trip that we took him on and they gave him something special. And then good old Hollywood Studios Star Wars picture with Chewie. Family picture with Chewie. And then the last shelf in here is just kind of little randos. You got munchlings, another meal uh, montage, fromage. And then the Skyliner popcorn bucket. Luke got me this Epcot pin a while ago. Um, the, oh yeah, there's the kitchen sink. And then this is the phantasmic lanyard you wear when uh, we did the dessert party. 
So it's kind of cool. It's like the whole lanyard says Fantasmic and stuff. And it, I think it priced, does it still light up? Oh, it does. I was going to say I'm not good light hand. I don't know if you can tell, but it's red. If they ever bring back that dessert party, that was really, really well worth it. Maybe I'll find that vlog and link it like for after this or put it at the end. Um, because man, I think we paid like, well, it'll probably be more expensive now, but I want to say we paid maybe $50. I'm not sure. I think it was $50. Um, and then less for the kids. Obviously, the kids were littler than they weren't nine yet. So I think it was just Luke, myself, and Mike paid the adult price. And then obviously, the little kids usually are a lot cheaper. But you got we got this whole kit of like dessert and stuff. Then you get um, unlimited alcoholic beverages too. So I think they had like margaritas. That's what I drank. That's why I only remember that one. But I think there was like two or three other options. And it was funny because Luke was 17 and he's like, but if they're paying for an adult price, why can't I have alcoholic beverage? I'm like, one, you're not 21. Two, not gonna happen. So I was like, I'll, I'll drink enough for you. Um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. But that was, that was, you got like premier seating and everything. So, and um, we had done the dining package a few times, which we like that too. But if you're, you know, looking to just have some sweet treats or whatever, I, I thought it was great. Then another orange bird. We got these, oops, 50th anniversary cups with the 50th anniversary coins. That one's, let me see if I can get these out. They had these all along the resorts for the 50th. So orange bird, it just had like the 50th on the back. This is the Polynesian. What's this one? Oh, another Polynesian. <laughs> Maybe I got one for Luke. Contemporary. Oh, Stitch. Oh, another contemporary. Oh, um, Tramp. He must have been in a set, Pinocchio. Because I don't know where I would have necessarily gotten those two, but the other ones look like all favorites. I was looking for like a, like a display shelf or something for the wall, but maybe I have enough things on the wall. I can just put that in a, in the cup. Last little things would be my Pastel. Remember they used to do all these fun things for food and wine for different festivals. These fun little gifts, not just magnets. So we got cutting board and then we got the coasters with mini on it too. Obviously I use this one the most. This one always sits out. I wish they would still do that kind of stuff. So that's kind of a bummer, but that's my office. I won't show you the middle section because it's a disaster right now because I'm in between doing some receipts and um, editing vlogs and things like that but hopefully you enjoyed this office overview and like to see me groom Winnie and yeah that's about it we're still working on house projects um, I'll probably add in here because tomorrow I am getting my Ocrevus infusions so if I can film and um, maybe do a little before and after or something, I'll add that in here too. So it's Tuesday, it's infusion day. So I got up, took the kids to school, grabbed a Starbucks and some food and headed to the infusion center and just pulled up. So I'm gonna go in, like I said, we really can't probably do very much filming. So I may just even like post some pictures and stuff. Um, but this is usually an all day process. So this is the first time I'm getting the infusions all in one sitting. Um, so I will hopefully kind of show you a little bit along, but talk to you when I get out. Wish me luck. I'm home. I wanted to kind of go through with you guys what my appointment looked like since I was only able to film just a little bit. Um, but basically when I get there, I have to meet with a, um, nurse to kind of go over what my, you know, how I've been feeling, um, any medications I've added or taken away, symptoms, 
Oh, oh and kind of if I had any side effects to the Ocrevus last time since the two rounds in the beginning was basically one just split into two days. And I didn't, or at least I didn't remember I did. I didn't make a note of it, so I'm guessing no. Um, so then they do labs. So that's why my appointment is a little bit longer too. They do labs there, which is nice because it's like all one shot, but it does make for a long appointment. Um, then they give me like pre-meds. So usually Zyrtec, but I did take a Claritin this morning. Tylenol, Benadryl. Um, I think it's like sodium chloride or chloride. I don't know. It's the one that's in the bag. And then once I get the pre-meds in me, I have to wait 30 minutes and then they start the infusion. So um, because this is my first like full infusion all in one stop, they do it on a slow drip. So that's why it takes a long time. And then the last hour, um, they do it on like a fast drip. So it's 4.30 now. I think I got out of there like at 3.45 and I got there at nine. So it's kind of a long day, but um, she said that if I don't have any issues this time, the next time I go in to do it, which would be November, I can do just a quick pace the entire time. So it might only take like a total of three hours. Um, so that's kind of something to look forward to, but no issues with the, like when they stab you with a needle and everything. So um, I'm gonna take the bandage off here in just a smidge. Picked up. Um, I ran by HEB, which is our grocery store here. Um, ran by and picked up some things for dinner because I, I was gonna make like this chicken dish and now I'm tired. So I picked up like a side salad and then um, I'm probably just gonna do like grilled ham and cheese sandwiches. And I think there's still some broccoli from yesterday in there. So just do some basic dinner tonight. Aaron has band practice this evening. So I have to pick him up at 5.30 because he has his band concert on Thursday. So he's very excited. It's his last one of the year, the spring concert. But I'm so proud of the boys. They both did their solos last weekend. They both got divisional ones, um, which is the highest ranking and they got their medals, which one of them I think is still down here. Yep. Isn't that awesome? So very proud of them. But man, I was driving home and it's like 95 degrees outside and when in the infusion center, it's really cold. So I had just have like, I have like these Viore like joggers and shirt on and I was like sweating. So I'm like putting on my air conditioned seat, like please give me some reprieve. So we are guests are in summer now. So I'll be wearing shorts from here on out. But that was the day. So if you have any questions about Ocrevus, comment below. Thanks for following along in our adventure this week. And uh, we'll see you next time. Go live your disc goals. Bye.